you know, I, you know, use some music with bad words and just what had some things that were not that good of an influence. So I just want to also apologize for that. And hopefully moving forward, my intention is to not do any of those things. I try not to cuss even on a daily basis, but it's bad. It's a bad habit. Try not to be a bad, you know, example, but especially when I have, I have over a billion views on my YouTube channel. So like I've done a lot of things in the past that I probably shouldn't have. And I hope, you know, I, I am apologizing for it. And hopefully, you know, you guys don't hold any of that against me. And moving forward, I only want to do good things. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. A few days ago, a brother known as Phase Apex Online posted this picture right here. And as we know, the internet went wild. So let's take a look at how people responded. And Islam has been attacked. So as you guys may or may not have seen, Phase Apex posted a picture on Instagram of him at Mecca and wrote an amazing caption. In his caption, he pretty much said how important Islam is. But the comments were insane. Look at this comment. That is a religion. Jesus is the only true... Oh, and he keeps going. A bunch of lost souls. Don't call an Islamic a terrorist, even though they preach that in mosques. And it goes on and on and on. Y'all worship a cube, imagine praising that. But no matter how many people attack Islam, it doesn't change the fact that it's the truth. Alhamdulillah. Allah there's, yeah. there's no there's no denying that. But man, what a shame. People are just unapologetically uh I guess fearless in terms of showing everyone that they're Muslim, especially being a public figure. And this is the response that they get from the internet. Yeah, subhanAllah. I mean, Islamophobia is uh, running rampant, unfortunately. Uh, and this type of bigotry is actually more common than we would like it to be. Uh, it's something that's been propagated by the media and by Islamophobes, people like Sam Harris, people like Tommy Robinson. They've been at it for a long time. But Alhamdulillah, Islam continues to, to grow and to spread. And we see it with beautiful brothers like him, may Allah bless him, who, as you said, are unapologetically Muslim. Unapologetically Muslim, as we all should be. Alhamdulillah, as we aim to be on this channel. Alhamdulillah. A lot of people are new to our channel. So if you're new and you have no idea about Islam, check out that playlist that I'm going to post right now called New to Islam. But for any of you that uh, had a feeling this was coming, I did too, because six months ago, this is what happened. Also, I want to also just say, you know, in the past, I've made a lot of videos that I'm not too happy or proud about, you know, anymore. When I was younger, I made some mistakes that I would try not to make today. I used to curse a lot of my videos. You said, you know, make videos reacting to things where I'd kind of make fun of people, not like make fun of people, like how they look and stuff. Like that, but, you know, just joke around about like meme videos and stuff. And like, you know, I, you know, use some music with bad words and just what well, had some things that were not that good of an influence. So I just want to also apologize for that. And hopefully moving forward, my intention is to not do any of those things. I try not to cuss even on a daily basis, but it's bad. It's a bad habit. Try not to be a bad, you know, example, but especially when I have, I have over a billion views on my YouTube channel. So like I've done a lot of things in the past that I probably shouldn't have. And I hope, you know, I, I am apologizing for it. And hopefully, you know, you guys don't hold any of that against me. And moving forward, I only want to do good things on this channel and good, you know, Make fun videos still and all that, but you know, it doesn't need, we don't need to cuss, we don't need to make fun of people, don't need to use bad music, anything like that. So just want to spread positivity and good vibes, all right? Man, subhanAllah, one billion views. Bro, yeah. even before when you wanted to square up with your homie, you would say 1v1 me on Rust. Even yeah. before that, FaZe Apex, the owner and founder of FaZe Clan, was out here making content. And mashallah, today, knowing the backlash he would get, because don't think that he didn't know this would happen, potentially. He still posted that picture and he's been. Yeah, mashallah. May Allah bless him. And bro, just, well, it warms my heart to see a brother like that because, bro, fame gets to people, man. A lot of the time, unfortunately, when brothers, even Muslim brothers, especially Muslim brothers, when they get famous, man, everything goes, man. The money gets to them, the fame gets to them, the fortune gets to them, everything gets to them. And the test of abundance, a lot of the time, is a lot more difficult than the test of scarcity. And may Allah bless the brother because Allah has guided him and he has accepted it, mashallah. You can see it and you can hear it in what he's saying and how he's saying it. Bro, he, he's mentioning the, the wrong that he did. He's, a, he's owning up to it. He's apologizing. He's mentioning intentions as well. All very Islamic things, mashallah. Uh, so may Allah bless him, bro. And you know, this kind of bigotry, this kind of um, Islamophobia that we see in the comments is, is nothing new. It's, it's honestly, it's something that Unfortunately, it's been going on for a long, long time in the West. And it's something we Muslims, unfortunately, have gotten used to. 
But alhamdulillah, you know, it allows us to learn our religion more, to spread our religion more. And for every misconception that, people, that somebody has is um, another step towards them coming to Islam because once they clear that misconception, if they're sincere, they will eventually enter Islam as we've seen a lot ever since even, you know, uh, September 11, for example. A lot of people converted after that event. So imagine how many people could convert um, just from the brother's post mm-hmm. when they learn about what Hajj is, what Mecca is, what Umrah is, and what Islam is as a whole. Alhamdulillah, bro. And how many people are just, they'll show that they're Muslim, but they're kind of like shy about it. You know what I mean? This man made an active call to Dawah. I'm going to read it out right now. He wrote, no blessing in life compares to the blessing of being a Muslim. Allahu oh. Akbar. Nothing gives you more peace and purpose in this world. Inshallah, we will all be reunited together in the next life, in the highest levels of paradise. I mean, he continues. I highly encourage anyone who has any interest or feels that they are missing a purpose in life to look into Islam. May God guide us all to the best for us in this life and in the next. SubhanAllah, like that was so yeah. beautiful and eloquent, but it was it was subtle, but it wasn't. It was an active call to Islam, no matter what anyone says. And that's yeah. something you don't see today, bro. Yeah, subhanAllah. Very, very, very well worded, mashallah. And I'm see, this is this is I think the sign of a very sincere Muslim who actually cares for the well beings of others. Because a lot of the time they're like I have my peace, I found my peace, I found my truth. But what he did, what he, you know, what as Muslims should do, is he said, This is the truth. If you're missing something, this is what it is, you know, in a very respectful and, 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 and kind manner, very inviting, mashallah, which is, you know, the son of the Prophet. So, subhanAllah, bro, everyone watching this video, share this video, inshallah, send it to Phase Apex, and let's get the brother on the Three Muslims podcast, inshallah, to do an interview with him about his journey and him coming back to Islam. I think that would be. Uh, phenomenal inshallah and when i say come back i don't mean he left astaghfirullah it's just everyone in, including myself and i go on this journey where we're born to islam yeah we're muslim we're arab or whatever i mean he's not arab but you know what i mean and then we get to the point where it's like we live in the west we do some dumb things and we come back alhamdulillah by the rahma of allah alhamdulillah bro i think that's a high note we ended off once again for anyone that made it this far and is actually sincere in turning your life to the next level and really leveling up because you feel like you're missing something. Trust me. I, I swear to God. I'm not going to say wallahi because you probably don't know what that is. But wallahi, God is my witness. I swear to God. This is the truth. Don't believe me? Check out our videos. That's why we started this whole YouTube channel in the first place. New yeah. to Islam is the playlist that I want you to go through. And trust me, it will be worth it. Inshallah. Inshallah. One last thing I want to add to the Islamophobes out there. Bring any argument you have. Anything. Bring whatever you want and challenge us with it. And by Allah, by Allah, by the end of the discussion, you will have nothing left. And you will have nothing except to admit the fact that Islam is the truth. And there is nothing that Muslims will shy away from. And there's nothing we can't answer about in our religion. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. And with that being said, and if you guys made it this far, comment down below. Hashtag Allahu Akbar. Allahu That's Akbar. It. And with that being said, Allahumma atina fi dunya hasna wa fil akhirati hasna wa kina adab al nar. السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته